more of us every day are getting the COVID-19 vaccine and receiving second doses, but there are still a lot of questions in our minds about what to expect. So we're joined today by Dr. Tina Jennings. She's a family doctor and she's director of the Memorial Family Medicine Residency Program. So Dr. Jennings, I understand that you received your second dose yesterday. So what can you tell us? How are you feeling? That's correct, Heidi. I got my second dose. Uh, with my first dose, I had very minimal side effects, a sore arm, otherwise felt fine. Um, with the second dose, I did experience some of the symptoms that you can see uh, with that second dose. Um, and those included myalgias or muscle aches, uh, a mild fever, uh, headache, as well as some stomach upset. Um, some people don't receive, don't experience any symptoms whatsoever, um, and some people will. However, these symptoms typically only last one to two days, um, and then you're able to go off with a boosted immune system to help fight the coronavirus. Well, I'm sorry to hear that you were checking off all the boxes there. But um, so, you know, that that delves right into our, uh, you know, a follow up in pain relievers. And, you know, you we've heard about how we should wait to take pain relievers, even if you are concerned about, you know, what side effects you might have. So what can you tell us about whether you should take them ahead of time, or wait until after you receive that vaccination? So the side effects of the vaccine are caused by activation of the immune system. This means your immune system is doing what we want it to do uh, and produce antibodies against the coronavirus. Anti-inflammatory medications work by blocking parts of the immune system. So taking these medications may blunt or decrease the immune response that we desire to help you to make antibodies against the coronavirus. For this reason, it's recommended that you not take anti-inflammatory medications prior to receiving your coronavirus shot. If needed afterwards, ibuprofen and Tylenol are, are medications that are perfectly okay to take for symptomatic relief if needed. Okay, a um, few other questions here. So can you still test positive after receiving both doses? That's a great question, Heidi. It's really important to note that the coronavirus or the corona vaccine will not uh, cause a positive COVID test. The vaccine does not contain any coronavirus or coronavirus fragments and will not cause you to get sick with the coronavirus. The COVID test is looking for the virus or fragments of the virus, which you could have even without being sick with the virus. The vaccine works by helping to prime your immune system to recognize and thus neutralize a coronavirus infection if you are exposed. These vaccines are 95% effective for protecting against the coronavirus, which means you still have a 5% chance of contracting the coronavirus. Nothing's perfect, uh, but even if someone does catch the virus after being vaccinated, the chances of becoming seriously ill or requiring hospitalization are greatly reduced. And that's the reason we should be getting it. So can you still carry the virus and spread it to others if you receive that second dose? We don't know exactly whether getting the COVID-19 vaccine will prevent you from spreading the virus that causes COVID-19 to other people, even if you don't get sick yourself. We'll have to see more of how this plays out within the community to really get more data with regard to that. One of those things that we just don't know yet. So should we or can we take off our masks after we get the second dose? I know a lot of us are really anxious to do that to get back to normalcy. I know, Heidi, and unfortunately, the answer to that is no. Um, not enough information is currently available to say if or when the CDC will stop recommending that people wear masks and avoid close contact with others to help prevent the spread of the virus that causes COVID-19. Immunization against coronavirus is one very effective tool to fight this pandemic. However, we need to utilize all of our tools to continue to fight. This includes wearing masks, physically distancing, avoiding large crowds, and continuing to practice really great hand hygiene. As we learn more with vaccination and assess local, state, and national trends, recommendations may change. But for now, we need to continue to use all the tools that we have in our arsenal. 